talking about past. The next little chapter is about the new developments of the Grasshopper Life Connection, which I'm very excited about. I think Grasshopper Life Connection started to work somewhere around 2016 or somewhere like that. And it has been, I think, stalled for a few years. And now I'm very excited because the new release of Archicad comes with basically hotling modules. It's been a long, uh, long time wish for all the Rhino, Grasshopper, Archicad uh, community of people. Um, especially when you are working on large development projects that maybe include hotels or include some kind of residential elements or even like for facade, sometimes you have like facade systems that are repeated that you wished you could um, basically generate through the Grasshopper connection. But, um, but if you really want to control parametrically all the elements, you have to basically work uh, with Rhino geometry, not not the uh, Archicad geometry, because uh, you really want to keep that as a module, as a as a component, uh, so to speak. The new Grasshopper connection has uh, the ability to reference uh, hotlinks and to uh, generate hotlinks. You can what you can see now here on the screen is in the normal Archicad Rhino Grasshopper workflow. Uh, one of the outputs is basically not a bin, not a column, not a slab, but a hotlink. So you can basically choose hotlinks from your file. Once you choose them, you will be able to tweak some of the properties similarly to what you will do in Archicad, like the home story, the master layer, the master ID for the hotlink module. And then you basically provide a point for insertion point, rotation value, and, and pretty much that's it. I was experimenting um, uh, a few weeks back and you know, even trying to, 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 to break the tool, which is what I usually do, and, and trying to make it uh, a bit more fun. Um, obviously, uh, you can always create some kind of array to uh, like two-dimensional array, but, but I was trying to see if this uh, workflow allows you to, to go uh, 3D and it does. It does. It has some limitations, though, that um, I, I will be happy to uh, discuss with the with the development team. But it's actually really uh, really interesting that you can do with it. Um, I I I just prepared like a little video, no? Here, so basically, once you have a curve, I have subdivided in basically in points. I am creating planes on these points that are basically oriented to the curve direction, the tangent and the normals. And then I am providing these values to uh, to the hotlink insertion points. So you basically can see uh, how the hotlink is basically being placed in, yeah, in the right position in space and so on. I can basically modify the number of subdivisions and, and the hotlink basically adjust uh, super fast. Actually, it, I mean, relatively fast. I, I want to see how this performs with maybe hundreds of of hotlinks, but but actually it was it was pretty fast, and I was quite impressed. So this is one of the things you can do. Obviously, you can have other workflows. I was testing here, for example, other workflow scattering, for example, rooms on a uh, on a site. So you could, for example, create uh, little master plans or little uh, maybe resort type. Uh, projects where you can basically work in a hybrid mode between Grasshopper and, and uh, Archicad based on this, uh, on this workflow is, is, is very useful.